Hey there kiddos, welcome to Sandy's Odds and Bobs. And today we are still working on our Sunflower Smiles journal. Here it is, this is what we got. Again, it's a little shiny, sorry about that. Uh, but it's our journal that we're making with our signatures that we put in here. And today we're going to be putting in some um, some sayings, some, uh, making some clusters, just trying to fill in some of the pages today. Okay, so let's see where we go. So at this point, what I did is, I have a whole bunch of stuff. Stuff that I've created from my paper bags brown paper bags and all I did was put some acrylic gold paint on them, sponge that on, and the flowers are hand-drawn flowers by me and that uh, I've just inked up and we're going to ink up some more and create some clusters to fill in our pockets and what all we can do. Okay, so let's see what we can start with. Okay, so here again, we're going to set all this to the side. I think we're going to start with the biggest piece first. That would be the easiest, I think. So here's a lot of our little leaves going on there. And this was the biggest piece that I drew. And of course, I just colored it in with my color pencils. That's all it was. And the drawing is super easy. Again, you know, you just you make your circle, do your petals. And this is all out of junk mail. This is all out of junk mail that we've collected from time to time as they send to the mail through it, through the mail to us. So um, this was an old messed up piece of uh, junk mail, ta-da. And I made a large sunflower. So what I'm gonna do today is I'm going to tear that out, ink the edges, and I'm going to put it on this, our handy dandy Culver's bag and we're going to put this on a page. I've already found the page that needs support. So that's one of the things you need to think about when you're doing your ephemera and your pockets on your pages is you need to make sure that you aren't overloading your pages with weight. Okay, so this was actually an envelope and it has a really nice pocket and we made a nice cute little tag to go in there but it's very heavy. You see how flopsy-mopsy that is? And you can see that, that crease right there starting to happen. Well, what I think needs to happen here is we need to support this page with a stronger paper layers. So that's what we're gonna do with this. Okay, so this is what we're going to do for that. And we're gonna glue this. Let's bring it back again, preview. We're gonna glue this on top of here like that and then we're going to tear out our illustration our little graphic that we created and we're going to glue that on top of there it's not going to be a pocket it's not going to be a tuck it's just going to be something to support that page now you may want to put in a little uh, title card or you might want to write some words on there and give it give it a little something something extra and that's perfectly okay we may go back and do that because I do have a lot of my sugar packet pieces that uh, I want to work with today as well so we'll see we'll see how that works okay so here we go again we got this going we already got that going it's inked it's ready to go Let's see and here we go we're going to start tearing this and again depends on how you tear it as to what kind of edging you're going to have. Okay, so we got all this good stuff for some more. We'll put that over in the odds and bobs. And we'll tear this edge. Oop. And we'll tear this edge. And what I have to do sometimes, if it's too big for my hands, I will fold it under very gently. Don't Try not to crease it, just fold it under gently. And that way I can use all my fingers. All right, just fold it gently. Try not to put any creases in it. Not that a crease would be a problem because it is junk, right? <laughs> so it's all good. Okay, there we go. 
Let's see, how's that fit? Well, that's a little narrow, isn't it? That's okay. Let's see if we can balance it out a little bit more. Take a little more off the top. Now this is where it gets real tricky because it's like, whoa, we're going to curl it. We're going to actually curl it to get our hands to be able to go around it so we can get a better control on our tear. Okay, well that's looking better. Mm -hmm. I like that. What I might do is to give it some balance is to take a little bit off this edge. Which side should we take off? It's going to be you. Okay, so we're going to just take a little bit off of this edge. There, there. Again, we're going to gently, gently curl it around so we can get some control over our tearing. Let's see, is that going to be enough? That's looking pretty good. Yeah, yeah, that's looking pretty good. So guess what we're going to do next? We're going to pull out our ink. And we're going to ink these puppies up. Okay. And I love the way brown paper bag takes to this ink. It's just so nice. It doesn't, doesn't spread all over the place. And yet it does blend in so nicely. Thank you, Culver's. Delicious. Delicious Culver's. They're not kidding. They are not kidding. Okay, I hope you're lucky enough to have a Culver's in your neighborhood. It's so good. <laughs> oh, yeah. There we go. I'm going to ink this side up again. this side up again. And you know, even though I did really basic background with this illustration, uh, you can go in and with your illustrations and you can just do more, more details on them if you like. You can have a lot of different varieties of ways to, to juice up your graphics. Okay, did I do the bottom? That bottom don't look done. It is done, but I want some more done. Here we go, some more done. Looks done. Now it's done. <laughs> it's like stick a fork in it, it's done. Okay, there we go. Okie dokie. Alright, so let's see how we're doing. Looking good, looking good. I like how that sort of mimics that edge. Okay, so here we go. Get our now I use this paper for <laughs> painting. Hey, you don't throw it away until you can't use it at all. So it gets to its very last bit. Okay, so we're going to do that, that. And again, we're going to... Where's our glue stick? Hello, glue stick. Oh, my excitement. Oh, that's not a good glue stick. There's our good glue stick. I hope... <laughs> Not by much. Not by much. Okay, well, looks like we're going to be grabbing another glue stick in a second here. Okay, remember, when you're gluing, make sure you get all your areas down there. <laughs> and uh, make sure you make all the areas wet, shiny. You should be able to see the re reflection of the light. So turn your head just slightly so that you can see from the side. If you see any dull areas, you know that does not have glue on it. Because all the glue parts have shiny areas. Move over a little bit. See, did I do it? Did I do it? I think I did it. I think it made it all the way to the very end. Oh yeah, it's at the end. Well, that was convenient. Very good. Okay. And even though it's, it's done like this and I can't get any more glue out of it, but yes, you can. You can actually take a toothpick or I take a palette knife and I will scrape all that glue out, put it in a little container. Let's see, a little container like this, although this has got water in it. But I put uh, the extra glue in there and you can use that glue. And I usually use the glue that I can collect in the containers like this. I usually use that when I'm working with collages, making my master boards. That way it doesn't have to be so pretty as we put it down. Okay, so, and then I recycle. Recycle, recycle, recycle. This goes into the plastic bin. Okay, so I'm going to grab another glue stick. There we go. Always handy. Woohoo! Fresh glue stick. Yeah. Okay, it doesn't really have a smell, not really. 
Nope, not really. <laughs> I had to check it. <laughs> Better say it right if you're going to say it. Okay, so here goes that. And let's make sure we got it on the right, yeah, on the right curve to the curve. Curve to the curve. Okay, that's looking good. Okay, we're going to stick you back in there. Let's press it down a wee bit. Okay, let's get you up there. Yeah, it's feeling good. Okay, so now we're ready to put glue on this side. And again, you can make this into a pocket. You could make it into a side tuck. You know, it's up to you, but nah, I'm not gonna. I'm just gonna stick it on there. It's glue stick. Here we go. And with the new one, I like to kind of curve it around, sort of get that rounded edge of there. Ooh, it is coming out juicy. Okay. Very good. And you can work fast, 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 fast. Work faster, work faster. <laughs> and it does wear it down, and that's good. We're going to save you for the odds and bobs. More odds and bobs. And you little guys, you're going to be useful in a minute. They keep encroaching in on our space. They're anxious to get previewed, debuted. Yeah, they will. They will. Okay, how's it looking? Turn my head this way, turn my head that way. Oh, I missed a whole bunch right there. Okay, let's get you all juiced up. All right, looking good. Thank you, Culpers. Oh. Nice, nice stuff. Okay, and whew, I think we've just about done our best with this one. It's going in the trash. You gotta throw some things away, right? Okay. We're gonna let very carefully, because it's all glued up. Carefully over there. Bring our book. Oops, scoot, scoot, scoot. And we're going to pull this up very carefully so we don't get our fingers all gunky with glue. And we're going to put it right here. Let's see if we can center it somewhat. And that's going to strengthen the back of that page. Yeah, there we go. Now, once that glue starts absorbing into the papers, it can get very uh, wrinkly if you're not careful because it's very wet. So that's why I'm using these parts because these parts are all gluey. So I'm using these parts. You know, it's a miracle that we have all these digits. All right, ta-da! Okay, so that's the big one. Now we're going to start working on clusters and making little clusters to go in different areas. And I haven't previewed this, so it's going to be all new to me. That looks like an area that needs something. That needs something, doesn't it? So we'll just put a tag right there, and we'll come back to that. Okay, so here we go. And we're going to pull these things over, and I got some odds and bobs out of my odds and bobs box. I cut out some leaves and some sunflowers. Some of them I've already already put the ink on. Some of them I haven't. Looks like I've only done one leaf there. Okay, this is some of our green papers. We want that. We don't need this. This is going in the trash. These can go in our odds and bobs because they're still usable. We can still make stuff out of that. Mm -hmm. Okay, here's a whole bunch of the brown paper bag that I've just sponged gold paint on. And it just came out so nice. Okay, I did the same thing. I got on a roll with this um, green paper that you get at Home Depot, Ace uh, Hardware, and uh, your home stores that you use for masking off windows and areas that you don't want to have paint slopped on. And so I had a whole bunch of this left over from a recent 
paint job that my grandson helped paint my front door. So we had a lot of leftover for that. And so here's a inked up sunflower. I think it's going to go that way. It goes that way. Don't you have a matching leaf, little guy? Don't you have a matching leaf? We've got four leaves. We've got five leaves. We've got that and that. And I guess you don't have a matching leaf. So we're going to be inking on you. Okay, so let's think about clusters. Now again, I was wanting to add some of these little sayings to my journal, especially the ones that have anything to do with smiling. And you'll notice that the little green thing's gone. Yeah, the little green thing's gone, or pretty much gone. And what I've done with that is I've used my handy dandy correction pen. Bing, 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 bing. Yeah, shake, shake, shake. Make sure. It's just laying it on its side doesn't do anything for it. You gotta shake it up to make sure that all the liquid is distributed evenly. And what we do is, hopefully, because I haven't used it yet today, so we'll see if it works. And I'm just gently squeezing and pressing down. Gently squeezing and pressing down. And sort of dot, 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 dotting it. Because there's no painting on with this. This is correction fluid from, oh my goodness, I can't believe we actually still use this because back in the day when you actually had typewriting classes in school, you actually had, okay, excuse me. Okay, so there we go. We got our three little pieces of bling bling on there. That looks very nice. We still have one left to go. So let's see. And do we have any more leaves? We do. We have one big leaf. We also have some bubbles blowing on over here. Okay. So let's see. And let's see. Do we have any more leaves? We've got one leaf left. I thought I had enough for all my flowers. That's a big leaf for a little flower. Hmm. Let's have a look see. Oh, you know what? I used that one flower had three leaves. That's why this one only has one. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. But you know what we're going to do? We're going to trim this little guy down because he's just too big for our needs. And we're going to cut him down and we're going to brown him up here. Okay, all right, in the trash. Okay, so we have one little sunflower left. He's gonna have one leaf. Where can we put him? Let's find us a spot. Okay. Oh yes, there was a pocket. There was a pocket back here. I remember there was a pocket that didn't have anything on it. Where was it? Oh, that turned out nice, didn't it? Where was it? Where's a pocket? There it is. Ha ha! Yeah, there we go. And guess what? This is definitely going to need some green paper behind it. Because it just needs a little bit more contrast. Okay. So, let's see. What kind of green paper do we want? Oh! Wow, talk about fortuitous. Look at that. It's just about the perfect shape. I'm liking that. Okay, so let's do it. I tell you, some things just cry out, put me here. And that is what that's saying to me. Put me here. And leaf is going to go in this direction. It's going to come down like that. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Now we could still put a little word here. Maybe not our, our little words here. We'll see. But yeah, that's looking good. There we go. Now I want to put some ink around this part. Okay. Da, 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 da. 
Oh, my glue stick. I tell you, sometimes you just get in the throes of things and you forget to snap your caps. My scissors all thrown up in here. <laughs> yeah. It's all good. It's all good. It's all good. Okay. I love it when a plan comes together. <laughs> Like I really planned this. But that's the fun about junk journaling. You don't plan nothing. You don't have to plan it. I mean, you could if you really wanted to. But yeah, you know, the whole the whole fun of it is serendipity. You know, you never know. So like I said, you never know what's going to happen. And it just so happens that my battery just died again. So I finally figured out that I can plug the puppy up to some electrical outlet, and hopefully I won't have that problem anymore. Okay, so now the, what we were finishing up is we were going to put in this last little flower down here, and I'm thinking that looks really good, and we might put a little word down there, but we want to have some background. We had torn this out, and we're ready to put that down. So let's go ahead and start gluing that down. That's looking pretty good. So we'll put that there, get our handy dandy glue stick, oh yeah, and there we go. Again, you want to make sure you got all your edges, all your edges, make sure you got all your dry spots glossed up. Make it nice and juicy. Okay, that's looking good. Ooh, so good, it's so juiced up, it's sticking. Okay, so let's put that there for a second, and we will come back to that. I see that just fits so nicely. Uh, we might adjust it a little bit, let's see if we can. Okay, close enough. Okay, we've got a little wrinkle there, rub, 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 rub that wrinkle out. I like that. I think that's going to work nice. Okay, so we got this all done. We're going to put this, how shall we put this? I want to have a little bit showing, thinking about like so. Yeah, I like that. Okay, that will work. So we're going to not use a glue stick. We're going to use our handy dandy tacky glue. See, and you can tell that I do all my my sketching and my drawing on junk mail. It's greatest greatest use for junk mail. Greatest use for junk mail. I mean, it just, it's amazing how many years I just wasted throwing this stuff away. Yeah, throwing it away. Okay, I need to put a little bit on there. Da, 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 da. Access code. Interesting. wonder what that was all about. <laughs> Long forgot. Okay. There we go. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Up a little bit. Yeah, that's looking good. Very nice. And you know, we might come back in and put some words down here. We'll see. We'll see. Okay, so there we have that. So let's let's go back and look and see what we've done with all of our little sunflowers. Okay, let's see, where did one of them go? Nope. There's one. I guess that's the beginning one. So we got one sunflower put in there. Any more? Where's the rest of them? Okay. Oh, there's another one. That turned out quite nice, didn't it? I like that. Yeah, that's going to be very nice. Got to make some journal cards now for all this. Okay, let's see. Yeah, it's funny, a lot of, lot of uh, people on YouTube do their flip through at the very end. I end up doing my flip through every time I work in my book because I'm always flipping through it to see what I've done, what I need to do. Okay, yeah, that's when we did our stickers. Okay, some more sticker stuff. Sticker stuff! Yeah, I like the little journal cards that we made like that. Nice, we'll have to do some more of those. Maybe some bigger ones. I know I had some more sunflowers in here. Let's see. Ah, there we go. There's a big one. And again, we were going to put some words up here, weren't we? 
Hmm. Okay. Well, let's uh, let's think about that. Oh, oh. Where was that strip of green paper we had? Hmm. Yeah. I'm thinking. I like that across there. Maybe cut it down a wee bit. Use it sort of like a band-aid. <laughs> Make it look like it's taped down. Oh, we're going to put some brown around that, though. Yeah, we are. Let's put a little brown around that. We need some more brown. Woohoo! Hang on there. Ah. you got to keep it covered, otherwise it will dry out. But I tell you, sometimes it's a two-handed job just to get it back open again. Yeah, I've got it gummed up all over the place here. That's all right. As long as it works. That's what we're looking for. Okay, looking good, looking good. Da, 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 da. Doesn't have to have a whole lot. Yeah. Let's see, do we want it this way or do we want it this way? Hmm, I like it that way. I like it sort of in the middle. I think that's going to be good. We're going to do that with glue stick. So here we go. There's a spot that hadn't been used yet. Pop out our glue stick here. Yeah, this, this green paper, that was such a fine. And I'm sure people have been using this for years, but it's all new to me. i got to figure out what else I can do with that. I wonder what bleach would do with that. Hmm, do I dare want to use bleach? I don't know. It's all a what-if sort of situation. What if I put bleach on it? I don't know. I might have to play with that a little bit. And if it works out, I might show you. <laughs> if it don't work out, you're never going to see it. <laughs> or maybe, maybe you will. <laughs> I might show you what not to do. <laughs> okay, so, oh, I like that. Yeah, that just, that just sets it off a little bit. I don't know that we need a word there. I think that's looking good by itself. Okay, let's so see. Oh, here's our other sunflower yeah that looked nice i like how that worked out got our little journaling cards going on yeah that looks good i think that's it is that it is that it i don't know look 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 there's some more sunflowers Let's see if that is it i think that's it seeming like it's it no it's not it this is it ta-da this is it so that is where we're going to end. So, ladies and gentlemen, I want to leave you with the thought of smile. It will catch on. And that, you know, is a good thing to think about when you're dealing with people. Don't let them get under your skin. Just, just smile and help them get through whatever the problem is they're getting through because they're so angry or whatever. So, let's just smile. Smile. And that's what it's all about, because this is our Sunflower Smiles. So that's what we want to work with. We want to have a positive affirmation sort of journal here. So there you have it. So if you enjoyed this video, ladies and gentlemen, please give me a like down below, thumbs up, up, and subscribe, because we'll be doing some more stuff in we're almost done with our little Sunflower Smiles journal. So we want to be able to leave some things to be able to be written on. So we might be almost done with this little girl. Okay, so uh, we'll thank you so much for coming by Sandy's Odds and Bobs. And we'll see you later. Bye-bye. <laughs>
Oh, the red one? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's still got some in there, yeah. Sure, sure. Don't worry about it. You used yours on mine, so that's the least I could do, right? That's right. That's right. Oh, okay, we'll do. Okay, bye-bye. Okay, this is going to be messed up. Editing.